baby. Hello, rodeo fans, and thanks to each and every one of you for tuning in with us every single week as we bring you all the highlights of the Jacksonville Rodeo. We're almost to the halfway point. It's night 15 here. But well, right now, I'd like to introduce to you another member of the crew here for the Jacksonville Rodeo, Miss Lindsay Sullivan. You'll be get to seeing a lot more of her and less of me. Thank Jesus. So, Lindsay, we're excited to have you a part of our family, and you've been welcomed with open arms. So, what are you expecting to see through this last almost half, a little more than half, half the rodeos left to go? What are you expecting to see here? I'm expecting to see all the action of the rodeos. I'm not an expert on rodeos, but I love it here so far. All the bull riding, horse bucking, all of this. Well, get, you get to see a lot of it three times a week, so by the time we get to the end of this, you are going to be an expert, believe me. All right. So, folks, you know where to catch us. That's jhrodeo.com, Facebook, Instagram, all the works, and that is where you can find myself and now, Miss Lindsay Sullivan. That's right. I have one request. What? You're going to have to learn something from me before I take on. Learn something from you? Yep. What is that? And it's called a little bit of ye hop. Oh, no. <laughs> Yeehaw! Oh, no. That is about all you're going to get out of me. Jackson's going to get a whole lot of it from me. <laughs> there you have it, folks. Lindsay Sullivan. Well, you're doing really good. Am I? Yeah. Well, you got every guy in the place chasing after you. Up with the judges. Holy moly. And how long have you guys been here? Uh, I've been here for six generations. Six generations, and you're just going to keep it on rolling, right? Uh, yes, ma'am. I'm going to do my best. All right. I'm standing here with Adam. Adam's got an actual shirt on. I have a security vest on. I'm not doing security right now, but I had to hunt him down to figure out what the hell he does. <laughs> Adam, what is it you do? I work in the back pens. In the back pen. Right. Zach, what is it that you do? Uh, I ride bulls. Ride bulls? And how are you doing tonight? Uh, wait, what? I didn't hear. How are you going to do tonight? Oh, uh, hopefully good. I drew a good bull, so hopefully it goes good. Yeah? What's your favorite part about being here at Jackson Hole Rodeo? Uh, just the family aspect of everyone here. The Wilsons do a great job of making you feel comfortable. Anytime I have an opportunity to dance, I'm in. Yeah? yeah. What do you think about being blindfolded? <laughs> Well, that was okay until they took the blindfold off and I realized that I was the only one there. Right? Where are you from, Kim? Uh, Portland, Oregon. Portland, Oregon. I'm an Oregon girl. Where are you from? Clinton Falls. I've been judging at night. Uh, but beforehand, I helped with just, with just about everything. Everything from the bulls to the horses, getting the calves wrapped, shears wrapped, calves up, everything to take care of, feed, all that good stuff. What's your favorite thing to judge? The bull riding. The bull riding. Have you ever been on a bull? Dude, yeah. Did you? Yeah. How'd that go? Uh, something good, something bad. Is that why you're judging here tonight? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hello, rodeo fans, and thank you all for being here with us for night number 15 of the Jackson Rodeo. The action keeps getting better and better each night as we go along, and number 15 was one for the book. So, this is what happened for night number 15 of the Jackson Rodeo here at the Teton County Fairgrounds. The number 18 robe is going to be Randy and Kira Warner with 855, gives them the number one spot here, the number eight. The 10 is going to be my, ma my man from the AOK Corral, Kevin Smith, Jim Stoddard, 697, gives him the number one spot in the number 10. The open is going to be Billy Gransden, West Miller with a 6.16 second run. The six second runs with the king tonight and all the ropes. In the breakaway, it's going to be my girl Haley Hardman with a 2.76, 2.76 brings the win here in the breakaway. The tie down is going to be Mr. Clint Harvey with a 10.16. And so we bring it to the saddle bronc riding. My man, Blaine Matthews, good to see him back from his Cowboy Christmas run. On top of Eagles Nest here for night 15 for 83 and a half points. He, he continues to make his lead in the points in the standings here for 2019. In the bareback riding, a man we haven't talked about a lot, J.J. Hunsaker, Little John, 73 and a half points, brings him to win the bareback. The barrel racing was phenomenal here. During the performance, we had a 16.9 second run, but our counter girl knocked over a barrel. So the second best time was Taylor Nichols and Streaker brings home the number one spot with a 17.207 here in the Snake River Brewing Barrel Racing. The bull riding, 
your number one man from last year, Riley Bard, hard times, 82 and a half points, number one here in the bull riding for night number 15. So the action still gets keeping better and better. We're going to start tell, talking points to you right around next week as everybody is still filling for positions here in the standings for 2019. So you know where to find us. That's jhrodeo.com, our Facebook page, Instagram. You know where to find us. So again, this is Wyatt Joyner bringing you all the highlights for night number 15. Paul. All right. How did we meet? Oh, we met here at the rodeo. He started working here as a security agent and then we met down at the Million Dollar Cowboy Bar at the after party. And how did you meet me there? What was my call? Oh, well, we ran in and my girl Casey here was like, oh my gosh, they were fun. We got a party with them. So you came in, sat down with us, and we tore down the town. That's right. Hell yeah. And how did I, how did I end the night? Uh, Can you I do it? I ended it like, yee <laughs> 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 <laughs>